And now IPL coming, which is your favorite team? Who do you support? Uh, Mumbai Indians fan, and all the way. Who do you think is Mumbai Indians' strongest opponent? Well, the greatest rivalry is with CSK, uh, but they all. I think it's a very balanced IPL this year. The auction, I think, was very successful. And your favorite batsman and bowler in the IPL? Yes. Well, uh, like like I said, I'm a Mumbai Indians fan, so it has to be just Preet and and Rohit Sharma. For all film-related interviews, reviews, and content, please like and subscribe to Pooja Talwar. You can also follow me on Twitter and on Instagram. So, well, we've started recording. Always a good time to meet you. So, can I say, 2020, rather this year, belongs to you. I mean, we had Breathe, we had Ludo, now we have the Big Bull coming, and now Bob Biswas and other movies lined up. Totally your year. Sons of the Soil as well in between. Yes, of course. Sons of the Soil yes. as well. I loved it. So, yeah, world domination, right? That's the plan. <laughs> Way to go. Uh, no, but in all humility, I, I, I got lucky. You know, thankfully, a lot of this was, um, a lot of this work was completed before uh, the pandemic started. Um, hmm. You know, like we've discussed previously also, Ludo was complete, Breathe was complete, and Big Bull was complete. Um, and um, I, as soon as, you know, things opened up. I finished Bob Biswas, which was stuck due to the lockdown. So, yeah, I got lucky. These four projects were pretty ready, almost ready. So, um, yeah, they're all coming out now. So, yeah, it's good. It's a good time. Yeah. It's a good time indeed. So, tell the viewers in a one-line description about Big Bull. How would you describe it as the actor who's playing him and trying it? Wow. You know, if we could summarize our movies in one in one sentence, then I don't think we'd make movies. <laughs> um, it's very difficult, you know, because I feel it's a very, it's such a layered character. Um, and there's so much that goes on in his life. And there's so much that Cookie, my director, has tried to show. But what I really like um, about the whole thing is it's, it's a very dra- dramatized, fictionalized uh, telling of some incidents that happened in the early 90s in our country. Um, and I think that he's managed to say it um, in a very entertaining way. So, um, you know, if this is your cup of tea as a film, I suggest you go check it out. It's coming out on the 8th of April on Hotstar and um, take it from there. So I'm going to ask you the obvious question that everybody's been asking, please. It's been a scandemic year and, you know, of course, when you hear the word big bull and you think about that one person, you know, but tell us what's different here and what propelled you to take this role? Well, um, my dear, dear friend and, and neighbor, uh, Ajay, um, called me in, I think, January 2019. And he said, look, I've heard the script. I'm going to produce it. I'd like you to act in it. So here. But that's where, I mean, the, the matter closes right there as far as I'm concerned. Ajay is too close to me. And as somebody I have too much love and respect for, um, I mean, I decided to do the film that before even hearing the script, I said yes. Um, then when he sent Cookie, the director, Cookie Gulati, to me, I, I was so lucky because, you know, um, it was a great role. I mean, uh, which actor would say no to, a, to an author-backed role like this? Um, and especially because there's a lot of meat over there to chew on, so to speak. You know, um, we're taking a character which has this huge character arc that goes, although the film is only based in five years, but just look at what all the characters to achieve, what all they go through. Um, so it was, it was just a wonderful journey to be a part of. And that, I mean, it's, uh, it's a matter of great luck and privilege that you get to do a role like this. And, um, you know, something that you really get to sink your teeth into. And, uh, and I thoroughly enjoyed playing him. I had a lot of fun with him and uh, I hope that translates onto the screen. And just for a moment when I saw the trailer, I was reminded of Guru. I mean, I know it's a similar life to Richard's story and I think Guru was one of your finest works as well. So that, that came to mind. But also when you are playing, it might not be based on the Harshad Mehta, but when you're drawing references from a real life character, yes, what, is yes, the prep that, what is the prep that goes in for an actor? A lot. Uh, there was a lot of prep. But you know, uh, Puja, that happens for every film, as it should. Um, I think somewhere we've become a bit far too comfortable thinking that um, 
that actors don't really do much prep because our films are are catering to a different kind of an audience and maybe the subject matter at times is not something that we perceive requires a lot of preparation but every film requires immense hard work um big pool was no different you know uh, i was i've been an actor who always believes in 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 getting the look of the character right because i believe that if you can look the character 50% of your job in acting is taken care of sure. so there was um a lot of time and energy spent in figuring out the look the body language the speech patterns all of that um it's something that we really wanted to get into detail with um because the character required it. the script was such that you had you you were given the opportunity to really get into the characterization of it so kuki and i spent countless hours working um on the big bull and hemant shah you know from from the way he dress um from how he would look behave even how he would walk before he becomes rich and successful how his gait would change uh, with success and money how his attitude would change um all of that was worked out in detail the one thing that we were sure that we should maintain through the entire film was obviously the focus that he had you know uh, here's a man who has a dream and is going to do whatever it takes to achieve that dream so to have that determination and focus and to be undeterred by anything else that was the one thing that we kept constant but we did a lot of hard work and i hope that shows uh, once people see the film so you know i was listening to one of harshad mehta's uh, last interviews and he says i don't want the bouquets i don't want the brickbats it's too much of a swing up and down you know it's something also but many love to hate that was with an many... interview that mr pritish nandi had done there yes in his residence yeah so and also the fact that he was a beacon of hope for many of the traders while many hated him also and i remember i was in the newsroom the day he died in uh, 2001 and i just felt that he did not deserve the end that he did you know but we also there's always an effort in the narrative to humanize the character not show him totally black or you know white have you also tried to do that yes um the protagonist of the film is somebody which we try to keep as realistic as possible i also believe puja that today's audience is not really interested in black and white characters they much rather see their main characters be gray um it makes them more tactile it makes yeah. them more realistic and believable and i feel the generation is such as well there is a certain um a certain morality that our heroes and heroines had say 20 years ago um and which was required i feel the audience doesn't require that morality and they'd much rather see somebody achieve something amazing while still being very humane about it you know there's there has to be room for human frailties there has to be room for 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 people to make mistakes and hemant shah is no different he's somebody who achieves who moves from living in a chawl to the most expensive high rise in india within 5 years now somebody who has that kind of a meteoric rise in fame and success and 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 money that power has to get to you somewhere and how that power corrupts and i think that was the story that we wanted to tell and um show a person achieve amazing things but still be very human about it. how good are you with stocks do you understand the stock market yes i do i've i've been an investor wow. for for several years so wow. um it's it's something that came very naturally my god i mean you have a head for numbers well you know i get impressed by anyone who does that but you know coming to questions from your fans and moshe sapir i'm sure you you know familiar with him i visited his home in haifa and you have to see that room that's dedicated to your dad and that man has watched over 2000 films yeah i mean it's just amazing so he sent a question saying that over the past 20 years your performances from sarkar yuva banti babli dostana dhoom or in the recent ones you perhaps even i actually look back and say you perhaps one of the most versatile actors what do you think of that well thank you it doesn't matter what i think it matters what you think uh, you as I the think. audience that's what matters uh, i have to do work that entertains my audiences and uh, that means doing a variety of roles and so be it you have to do whatever it takes um, so like i said it doesn't matter what i think it matters what the audience thinks and as it now i mean you've been taking risks i just feel now this past few years you did a lot more i mean is that you know i don't wrong? i'm i'm not sure if risk would be the right word to use hmm. um 
there is an element of risk in everybody's profession and i get that um mm. if the risk is something that you're doing something for the first time or something that maybe not comfortable doing then that's one element um you don't go out looking for trouble in that sense i'm really enjoying the work i'm getting and i and i think i'm very lucky that that makers that you know writers and directors feel that i would be able to do justice to a varied amount of characters you know um i mean i'm just thinking of it as you say i mean to do you know man marzia breathe ludo big bull bob biswas dasvi and to have that variety i i mean i think i'm i'm very lucky you know um i I'd, i'd like to believe that i'm the right guy at the right place at the right time um but uh, i'm lucky i'm not going to i'm not going to doubt it i'm not going to question it i'm just going to enjoy it but also do you realize the fact that your characters are very realistic they also someone that you can relate to they're not over the top because sometimes we well, do see characters that's 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 done by design um i enjoy these kind of characters i i, I have a uh uh maybe a a slight leaning towards characters that that achieve a lot uh, while still being very um believable i like the rags to riches kind of story i like the aspiration and the inspiration that cinema allows us and affords us and if we can tell a story like that it's uh, something that excites me while keeping them very believable so just have asked the question that you mentioned that to you use your screen characters attitudes and dialogues in everyday life has anyone made an appearance lately has come back any of your characters not that i can remember no not off the top of my head yeah okay and she also asked the question as to why do you fear auditions why do i fear auditions because i'm terrible <laughs> at them you know um i have huge amount of respect for people who can who can audition confidently like i said when i was asked last that you know it's it's a very unnatural situation you walk into a room and you're just given some lines and say okay there you go you know nothing of the character most of the time the director of the film who's meant to direct you isn't there there's a casting director and some assistant directors and and it's it's a very unnatural situation to be in you know and uh, to know that you're going to be judged and get a job based on just that is is nerve-wracking for me should you ask the question are there any insecurities if you are to be candid as an actor as an individual and a family man are there any what sorry insecurities 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 are very important in life um that's what keeps you on the edge and that's what keeps you hungry to achieve more so i think insecurities are very 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 important they shouldn't get the better of you um but it's important to have insecurities it drives you another question for uh, the big bull what was most challenging about this role physically yes you have transformed yourself but emotionally and mentally for a person to have that kind of focus uh, throughout the film is very difficult um that emotionally i found i found very difficult that had that kind of conviction that himant shah has in doing what he's doing um is is very difficult to maintain you know never to have that one moment of self doubt or anything just to have that kind of conviction and 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 laser like focus was very difficult my question is i am a huge fan of the way you deal with the trolls because i cannot come up with a reply and when i do i get told even more how do you do it can you give me tips it's not thought of you know just just it's just who i am it's my sense of humor it's just it's just the way it is and you know um that's that's just how i know how to respond to people right a lot of people ask me this question i have i have no proper answer to give it's just the kind of person i am you know young kids come up and say we have to do a feature on the best pai who wears as abhishek bachan got back at these people and i'm like you know these are basic rule books for life it's just amazing you know i just you got to be cool man you can't you know you can't get ruffled by this you have to learn to laugh at yourself as well you know a lot of the times some of these guys write stuff which is genuinely very funny and um yeah just you know can't take everything to heart learn to, learn to have a sense of humor and now what after um, you know the big bull we i know we have bob biswas we have dash ki coming yeah okay. bob biswas is complete it's um you know sujoy and dia are editing it as we speak i'm currently in lucknow shooting for dasvi um i finished that at the end of this month and then move on to breathe um so yeah 
it's um, it's a packed packed uh, schedule thankfully awesome and santana has asked this is genre that you really want to like now try that you have well, done very thing? honestly i'm i'm very ready to do a comedy now um you know the last time ho gaya the last few um, years has been very very intense and it takes its toll on you so i'm i'm ready to do an out and out comedy i I'd, i'd look forward to doing something And Bunty Bubbly, a uh, sequel is coming. I remember I was with you all when Bunty Bubbly came out. Now yes, what twenty years? But you, I mean, now there's a Bunty sequel. Bunty Bubbly came out, yeah, sixteen years ago. Yeah. Years ago. Yeah, now wow. there's a sequel coming. Yes, there is. Yes, I'm looking forward to it. Awesome. Is there one of your movies that you would want to like star in a sequel that you would want to make? Or no. Wow, good question. not that i can think of just off the top of my head cuz a lot of them also are just films that you know i think maybe you shouldn't touch after a while you know it's very yeah, tempting in today's commercial world to to try and cash in on the success of a film and make a sequel to it but um the one the one film which i think always warrants a sequel and has become a franchise and was possibly india's first big franchise was doom so i was you know i I'd, i'd look forward to that yeah it's a film i really enjoy making And also, I should tell me, as somebody who's been in the business for so long, I know we like going to the theaters, we like watching movies. But now the OTT, we're enjoying. It's similar. Do you think it's also given a kind of lease of life? You're not bogged down by the box office pressure. Movie just being well, written yes. up and then up. Well, yes. I mean, the, 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 that whole numbers thing isn't there anymore. But you know, it's just it's changed. It's um, you'll never come to know the numbers on on a streaming platform. But the streaming platforms have all the information. So whether they want to employ you again is kind of like your barometer. um but um look we're all cinema people uh the the experience of going to a cinema and sitting with your bucket of popcorn with your cold drink is something which not many other experiences are going to top and uh, but in the interim period i'm very happy with the digital platforms i think it's a different medium altogether i don't think it's a substitute to cinema uh it is a different medium like there's television the cinema and now we have digital platforms so i think they're all very different they have their space and people are going to watch all of it i'm just happy that you know it's giving actors the opportunity to showcase their talent and currently uh, like in the case of big bull um which was made for the theaters and then ajay took the decision to release it on digital very soon into the lockdown last year uh, i'm happy that people get to see our work from the safety of their homes so as long as our work is reaching the audience i'm happy and also i mean a state of our home sports you're a sports person i mean like we had crowds and again empty stadium i mean is it really getting to you now because you also have a franchise um yeah i mean the entire isl took place uh, behind closed doors so it was difficult not to be with the team it's something that i enjoy but like i said their safety and the safety of the people is of paramount importance um at the end of the day i'm happy that they get to see the sports on television the ipl is starting now on the 9th of april so i'm looking forward to that it's going to be weird to see the ipl without um, you know without people in the stands but it is what it is as long as we still get to see it and enjoy our favorite sports people i think i'm happy with that and you know not talking about sports sounds of the soil i could not speak to you then but something that came across in that entire show which i loved i thought all the episodes do not a very sports person it was your vulnerabilities you know the way you when you said i have a lot at stake it's my blood sweat and tears it's the vulnerability your vulnerability that came out just exposed your cut to everyone well it's the truth you know i've always lived my life uh, and my life is an open book and uh, it's the truth you know no matter what i do i go all in uh, there's no holds barred both feet first uh, that's just the only way i know how to work so um, you know i'm i'm so happy that they got to see how and what goes into making a team and um, you know i think it's the first time in india that we got to see that behind the scenes in that in depth and i'm so happy that people really liked it i still get messages saying you know are we going to get get to see more of it um so i'm i'm so happy i'm, I'm glad that i could bring the sport of kabaddi to a platform like like amazon and i uh, and I, and i hope that they you know it's helped popularize the sport a bit more Absolutely, and now IPL coming. Which is your favorite team? Who do you support? Uh, Mumbai Indians fan, and all the way. Who do you think is Mumbai Indians' strongest opponent? Well, the greatest rivalry is with CSK, 
Uh, but they all, I think it's a very balanced IPL this year. The auction, I think, was very successful uh, for some of the smaller teams as well. And I wish them all the best. Um, I think what's really interesting in all, all of all professional leagues across India, I think with, with time passing, and now it's been over 10 years, what's really nice to see is that how there is an equality amongst all the teams because there's such great talent coming out. You know, when it first started, there were only the 11 to 22, 25 known cricketers. Um, and the IPL, I think, threw up so much new talent and they're all breaking into the national squad now, similarly in football and in Kabaddi. Um, so it's really nice to see that all the talent is getting evenly spread. So it's very difficult to say who's going to be your favourite this year. Being a Mumbai Indians fan, obviously you would want the Mumbai Indians to be the favourite, but I think it's, it's anybody's IPL this year. And your favorite batsman and bowler? In the IPL? Yes. Well, uh, like, like I said, I'm a Mumbai Indians fan, so it has to be just Preet and, and Rohit Sharma. Awesome. And international? Internationally, Mumbai Indians fan, so definitely Polly would be a great uh, all rounder. I'd choose him, yeah. And apparently, you have a cricket superstition at home. When India plays international matches, apparently your dad doesn't watch or something. There's some superstition yeah, in the family. He doesn't watch the match. You sit in the room next door and listen to the commentary. I have to sit in the same place. Ashwari has to sit in the same place. And we wear the same jerseys that we wore when India won the World Cup, which is exactly 10 years ago today. Exactly. Yes. And do you have any superstition when it comes to your sport, your team? Yes, there are lots. You know, anybody who owns a sports team will tell you that there are hundreds of them. Um, so, yeah, there are a lot of them. innumerable amount of things that you do, from wearing the same clothes to wearing them in the same way, in the same, you know, um, and, and a lot of sportsmen have this as well. You know, Sachin was famous for putting on a particular pad first, and they have all these things. So, we do all of them, eat the same food, eat at the right time, at the same time. So, all these, these kind of rituals awesome. go on, yeah. It's a lot of fun. Awesome. And do you also get tried anxiety before your film, whether it's on OTT or whether it's in the theatre? Oh, absolutely. Of course. Come on. It's, it's so much hard work that's gone into doing what you're doing. And, and um, it's up for judgment now and it's public property. So, yeah, you still get those jitters. Anything you do on the morning of your release? What do you think? <laughs> nothing, the phone, nothing. I mean, uh, some of them there's, actually there's a lot, the there's a lot. There's a lot that you do, yeah. Anyways, all the very best. Lovely talking to you. All, Thank you. you know, Jusha. way to go. And as I said, this year totally belongs to you. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Thank, Thank you. you. I hope you Thank enjoyed you the so film. Stay safe. I will. Yeah, you too. Bye. 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 If you've liked this interview, please like, share and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram.